rising tensions in Kenya amid tax hike protesters and government response. Hello and welcome. This is News Fest at this, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. Kenya is grappling with significant political and social unrest as protests against proposed tax increase have intensified into violent confrontations. According to Kenyan National Commission on Human Rights, the day's toll from recent demonstrations is nearly double what the government previously reported. This crisis presents a severe challenge for President William Roto's administration, which has been empowered for less than a year, the protests and government response. The protests, driven primarily by young people, erupted in response to proposed tax hikes intended to address Kenya's substantial public debt. These tax increases were part of border fiscal reforms encouraged by International Monetary Fund to stabilize Kenya's economy and secure crucial funding. However, the immediate impact of these measures on an already struggling population ignited widespread outreach. After the tax bill was passed by lawmakers, the demonstrations turned violent. In Nairobi, the parliamentary complex was stormed and partially stabilized. Security forces responded with live ammunition, leading to a significant number of casualties. The government's heavy-handed approach in dealing with protesters have been widely condemned by human rights organizations and has intensified public anger. Kenya National Commission on Human Rights Findings and Condemnations The Kenya National Commission on Human Rights has documented extensive violence during the protests, including cases of enforced or involuntary disappearances and numerous arrests. The watchdog criticized both the excessive force used by security personnel and the destructive actions of some protesters. This dual condemnation highlights the complex city of the situation where state violence and civil unrest fed into each other, creating a cycle of instability. Political implications for President Roto. President Roto, who assumed office after a continuous election, now faces his most significant challenge. The protests have revealed deep seated discontent with his administration's policies and priorities, although he has since scrapped the continuous tax increases. The damage to his political standings has been considerable. His reversal on the finance bill driven by popular pressure has left the administration appearing divided in his leadership question. Ruto's assertion that he does not bear responsibility for the bloodshed and his promise to, ne- to investigate the diseases may not be enough to restore public confidence. The perception that his government is out of touch with the struggles of ordinary Kenyans has been exacerbated by the tax proposal, which may see as burdensome and unfair. Economic and social context Kenya's economic challenges are significant, with public debt comprising a substantial portion of its GDP. The government's attempt to raise revenue through tax increase is a reflection of the financial strain it face. However, the backlash against this measure suggests a border crisis of governance and a public trust. The youth lead processes are particularly telling, indicating a generational divide and demand for more responsive and quietable economic policies. The future outlook. As activists call for a new protest under banner like Occupy Everywhere and Ruth Thomas Go, Kenya is poised for further unrest. The government's ability to manage this crisis will be crucial. Ruto's administration must navigate the immediate challenge of maintaining order while addressing the underlying economic revelances that have fueled the protests. In the longer term, Kenya's path to stability will depend on its leader's ability to balance fiscal responsibility with social equity. The demands of international leaders like the IMF must be reconciled with the needs and expectations of the Kenyan populace. Failure to do so could deepen the current crisis and erode Kenya's reputation as a stable democracy in East Africa. As the situation unfolds, the action of President Ruto and his government will be closely scrutinized both domestically and internationally. The outcomes of these protests and the government's response will likely shape Kenya's political and economic landscape for years to come. And this was our news analysis for today. Make sure to join us for another edition of News Fest Addis. <laughs>